Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just JK and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new, currently unreleased Vapid Peyote Gasser. Now, when you have a look at this bad boy, you can obviously see that this is supposed to be a drag car. It is in the muscle category. It is going to cost you $805,000 on release. Uh, but, you know, it looks cool, man. I appreciate a nice looking vehicle and this is definitely a nice looking vehicle nice addition to GTA it's very different to uh, most of the things we've already got in here and as you can see it's definitely supposed to be a drag car because we've got a big fat ass tires at the back it's got that lift on it it looks awesome it does look really cool um, for some reason I had to repair the vehicle what's all that about weird as fuck anyway we're going to start this build, as always, with 100% body armor. We're going to get the race brakes. Then we're going to go to the engine. We're going to get a level 4 engine upgrade. The exhaust. We've got the... Oh, so they don't change position. But we've got the ceramic. Then we've got the chrome. But they're a little bit shorter. Uh, the cramp ceramic short. The chrome long. Uh, then the long versions. And like the fucking bent versions of them. And then the complete angles. Man, these exhausts, what's all that about? Give me some nice options. That's better. That's what I'm, That's more what I'm talking about. Some basic side pipes. At least it looks a little bit more like it's got an exhaust. They look awesome. The custom side pipe, they look cool. So the two side pipes, even though I'm not a massive fan of side pipes in general, uh, the two side pipes are definitely the best options in my opinion. And I'm going to go with... The basic side pipes. I think they look a little bit nicer. Then we've got the grill. We've got the chrome grill, the custom grill, the billet grill, the lead grill, and the open grill. My God, the open grill. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to go with the open grill because I think it's taken a little bit too much away from the front. And now them lights look a little bit funky. So I'm going to keep the grill. I think I'm going to go with the billet grill. Yeah, good go with a billet grill. It fills that gap a little bit nicer. Like I said, when you when you remove it, it's like that tank at the front gets larger, but then them light, but then the headlights look a little bit more lonely. If that makes sense, it looks a little bit weird. So we're gonna go with a billet grill. Then we've got the hood, so we can remove the hood altogether. See all that nice support structure we've got going on in there. Uh, we've got the secondary hood. We've got the smoothed hood. Secondary smoothed carbon. And then we've got the big blocks at the top, which look cool. And then we've got the one with the no hood. And that's going to be a now running theme. So we'll get the big block with the removed hood. So we've got the short ones. And then we've got the angled ones. And then the oval intake. And then the triple intake. I think I'm definitely going to go with a big block. I'm not going to remove the hood, though. And my favorite was the large filter blower i think that looks pretty cool and i'm hoping that that filter changes color with with the car uh and that's not just a fluke that they're both red at the minute <laughs> but we'll find that in a minute uh, hopefully the filter stays the same color as the car body I, that's what i'm hoping for anyway headlights we're gonna go zero on headlights then we've got liveries so keep it simple just what i like baby i like to keep it simple and that's a nice simple livery i like that then we've got the old school gasser. I like them. They look cool, man. It looks like I've been painted on with a brush. That's a real nice touch, that is. And then we've got the smoky peyote, which is obviously where it's a little bit worn. I'm actually really digging these liveries. The fly, uh, the, sorry, the fire. Um, then the American flag fire. Not sure about that one. The cocktail kitty. That's a little bit weird for me. I'm not sure about that. I think that looks, a, I don't suit the car. You know, it looks a bit odd. Uh, yeah, definitely a weird one, that. Then we've got the Junk Guard Special, which is cool. That's nice. You can uh, rat it out if you want to. But like I say, with all these liveries, you need to have a matte color underneath. Otherwise, it will have that gloss on it. And it don't look right. It looks weird as fuck. Uh, another rat one. That looks cool, too. Uh, the Vapid Valiant. And then that's it. It does look really nice clean though. And in red as well. It looks nice. It's a nice colour for this type of car. Um, I actually really like this one. The old school gasser. That looks really smart. And because um, it's quite unique. And I don't think we've had anything like that on a livery before in the game. Like where, it's, where it looks like it's been paint, like hand painted with a brush on there. 
Uh, I'm going to go over it because I think it looks fucking awesome. And then we're going to skip the plate. Respray. Primary colour. We're going to go classic. Red looks really good. You know, the, the colour that it spawned in. It looks really, really good. Um, but I kind of want to change it. I'm thinking... I don't even know what I'm thinking, man. Maybe an orange. Orange might be good. But then... I don't know. Yellow, maybe? Yellow looks cool. The gasoline green actually looks really nice. I like that. That looks cool, man. Let's have another look at the yellow. I think I'm swinging in favour of the gasoline green. I actually really dig that, man. I think that looks cool. Let's grab it. Classic gasoline green. Secondary. Go go classic also. Uh, at the minute, it's the Torino red. But it's just the support struts or the cage or the scaffold and what you, <laughs> if you want to call it underneath the hood. Um, we are going to change that up. The cast iron silver looks pretty sweet. Maybe if we go to metals, let's change it to maybe brushed steel. Um, aluminium, pure gold. What about chrome? Let's chrome up. So when we go chrome, it looks more black. What the fuck's all that about? That's weird, man. Why has it done that? So we are going to go over metal. Maybe brushed steel. Uh, the brushed aluminium actually looks quite good too. Um, I'm going to go with the brushed steel. Let's grab that bad boy. It looks pretty sweet. Roll cage. On a convertible, a roll cage is always a hit and miss. It's either going to look awesome or it's going to look absolute dog shit. Ooh. And it actually looks alright. You know, it's, if it's just that little bit at the back, I can live with that. Even that with the support struts at the back looks good too. Nice. I'm happy about that. I'm happy it's not gone. See, that's taking it too far. That's. Man, that looks weird now. That's what I mean by hit and miss. This was a hit. That's a fucking miss, man. That looks shit. That has completely ruined the look of the car. In my opinion, anyway. I do like the old school seats in it. But I also like the roll cage at the back. And I love the bucket seats ed edition in there as well. Not sure if I want the performance one or the sports one. I'm, f I'm, f yeah, I think I'm gonna go performance, but maybe the performance with the race seats because you get these bigger bolsters on there and it's a little bit higher. I think that looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna go with the cage with the race seats, uh, roof. Oh shit, man, you can put a roof on it. So maybe the full roll cage actually might go okay on this. I take that back slightly, um, but even I, I still don't like full roll cages though. That's just me. Um, Oh, also, when you change the seats, it changes the steering wheel as well. I'll we'll go quickly show you that in a sec. Um, but yeah, the roof looks pretty sweet. It's got to be a primary roof though, because uh, these ones, the secondary and the carbon look a little bit weird. And that's actually the stock roof, the carbon one. Why did I mind spawning with no roof then? That's weird. Um, but I'm going to keep it convertible. I think it looks cool. Competition suspension. Do I w oh my god. I think I do, you know. I think I do want a competition suspension, that. Let's do it. What the fuck not? Transmission. Race transmission. Turbo tuning. Wheels. Now, is this going to change in both? Or just the front ones? Because obviously they're both the same rim at the moment. But quite evidently different sizes with different tyres. And it just changes the front one. So I'm definitely not going to be changing that. Because why would you want odd rims? I know we've got odd tyres at the moment. But why the fuck would you want odd rims? That doesn't make, doesn't make any sense. So we're going to skip the wheels. Uh, then we've got window tint. But we ain't got any windows. So we're going to leave that as none. And that's it my dudes. That is uh, the build on the Vapid Peyote Gasser. And I actually really like the look of it. You know it's not always my kind of thing. This old school look. Oh my god. And it sounds amazing. Oh my god. It sounds like a fucking... Demon from hell. Oh my god. Hopefully this is going to be fast. It is in the muscle category. Um, and that sound. That sounds awesome. I don't know if you can hear it on the, on my gameplay, man. But that sounds amazing. Sounds really good. So it's very talky. As you can see, we've got quite a lot of wheel spin. But it's definitely quick. This is a muscle car, don't forget. And in a straight line, that actually feels real fast. Um, steering is really heavy. Really fucking heavy. Struggle to get around that corner. But it holds in. I mean, you can stick it in the corner. And it's not spinning. So it's very grippy. 
which is awesome. That's really good. Um, it's really fast. It's, it's, um, it's the only downside in the performance, from what I can gather, is just the heavy steering. Other than that, man, it feels awesome. But yeah, yeah. Other than that, it's just literally just the heavy steering is the downside in the performance, in my opinion. It feels really fast. It sounds amazing. It's really good. It's sticking to the road like nobody's business, man. It is awesome. But it's just that steering. It's really heavy. It's going to struggle going around corners, I think, in, in like a race situation. I mean, look at that. I'm full over on the analog stick, and it just struggles a little bit. It just feels quite heavy. Um, but I think, I think people can see past that. You know, it's not the big all end all. Because it's got a really nice selection of customizations. Not the best, but it's good. Good enough for me. Um, it looks amazing anyway from stock. The sound of it is immense. It's really fast in a straight line. And it just sticks to the road. So, yeah, man. I think this is definitely a win for this car. I think it's really cool. It looks awesome. It's fast. Um, like I said, the only downside I can think of is literally just the heavy steering otherwise it's awesome a great addition to the muscle car category um is the vapid peyote gasser so um actually looking forward to this coming out into gta online so i can grab it and put it in my muscle car collection you know it's definitely gonna be one for the collection um but yeah i think that's going to be the end of the video now i hope you guys did enjoy if you did please smash a like and if you haven't already want to subscribe to my youtube channel for more gta 5 videos like this and until next time guys I'm out. Adios.